Well, hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing another guitar review. Today we're reviewing this beautiful Epiphone that I have right here in between my legs. Yep. Anyways, it is an electric acoustic. And you, I know what you're thinking if you watch my other video. I thought you only had one. What happened to only having the Taylor? Technically, this guitar is in mine. It's my boyfriend's. He's learning how to play. And so I can justify having another guitar in the house because it's not mine. It's my boyfriend's. So, let's go over it. This is a Hummingbird Pro Epiphone, hence the headstock. If you're not familiar with guitars that much, there is another model of this guitar which is made by Gibson. And Gibson is kind of like the sister brand to Epiphone. The difference is that the Gibson is about 10 times the price of this guitar. This guitar will save you about $500 Canadian. The Gibson, you're probably looking at spending somewhere between $5,000 and $6,000. <laughs> So yeah, big difference there, not just the headstock. The price, you might want to consider the price up besides just the headstock, just, just, just the headstock, buy the headstock. Anyways, so super nice looking guitar. You get fret inlays all through the fretboard, which is a power pair of fretboard. You get a super nice inlay here on the headstock as well, which just sets it apart from most other Epiphones on its price range. You get inlays on the buttons to hold the strings as well, which are plastic, but look really, really nice. You do get um, wood saddle piece down here, the bridge piece, which honestly, very nice looking as well. Overall, super nice looking guitar, but looks are not everything. So what are the specs? You get a Sprouse solid top, you get mahogany sides and back, which are very nice looking the paint is not too obstructive so you can still see the wood underneath which to me it's a huge plus I really really like it so super super nice looking guitar uh, like I just said Pau Ferro fretboard which is if you're not familiar with it's very similar to rosewood it's just a little bit lighter in color and a little bit brighter in sound at least in my ear obviously that depends guitar to guitar but yeah and Grover tuners which is super neat. You see Grover tuners in Gibsons and this guitar comes with Grover tuners. So nice little detail right there. It stays in tune very well and I haven't had any issues with that at all. Um, one nice thing about the newer model, this is a 2020 guitar. I can't remember if they started doing in 2019 or 2020, but they changed the electronics on their Epiphone Hummingbird. It used to have the electronics that sit right here. Now they are on the sound hole. So if you can kind of see in there here is the adjusters for the volume and the tone there are two little knobs that you can reach very easily just by sticking your finger in the hole there uh, probably shouldn't be a little up okay we're gonna forget that I said that <laughs> anyway it's so a super nice looking guitar electronics are hidden in the hole and you plug it in through the back of the strap holding thingy right here so one thing I really like about the guitar is that you can't see the electronics anywhere from the outside, which is super neat. No knobs, no anything. It looks like an acoustic until you plug it in, which is very nice. Now obviously that comes with one drawback, and that is how do you put a battery in this thing, right? Because you don't have a cavity in here or anywhere here or anywhere. So the battery sits inside the guitar. It's actually right underneath the fretboard here so the only way to get to it is to loosen the strings or take off the strings and reach in to get to the battery which is sitting in there and the only problem with that is that if you were to take this to a gig or something like that and you find out that your battery is dead it won't be a quick switch <laughs> for sure you don't have to at least loosen your strings which is one little drawback right there although Batteries on these things last quite a bit, so as long as you remember to change your battery every time you change your strings, you should probably be fine. Or just change your battery before a gig, and then you don't have to worry about it, right? You should do that anyways, whether you have the battery in here or in here, you should not be running into that problem. But anyways, what's worth mentioning. Now that we have the specs out of the way, why don't we listen to it? I'll play it twice. I'll play it first. Just a guitar by itself, then we'll plug it into my amp. I don't have an, an acoustic amplifier, so we'll be plugging it into a Spider V30, 
which is a solid state amp, but it has an emulated acoustic amplifier, so that's what you will be hearing the guitar through. And hopefully I can give you an idea of what this sounds like, and after we hear it, and you can make your own decisions as to whether you like how it sounds or not, then I'll tell you what I think about it. You already know I think it looks really pretty, but that doesn't matter. Obviously the fret inlays, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Fret inlays are plastic, obviously. But they are the like fake mother of pearl inlays. So even though they're plastic, they're not just plain plastic. They have a little design on them and they honestly look really nice. And at this price range, having fret inlays to me is a plus. It just makes the guitar look really nice. Anyways, let's play it and let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Hopefully my bunch of nonsense gives you an idea of what this sounds like. Let's plug it in and let's see what it sounds like once it's plugged in. And we're plugged in. So let's see what it sounds like now. Hopefully that also gives you an idea what it sounds like plugged in. I'm not the best guitar player by any means, obviously, but hopefully what I can do gives you an idea what this sounds like. Let's move on to what I think about this thing. So what do I think about this very nice looking guitar? Well, first of all, I think it looks amazing. I think it looks really, really, really pretty, and I think it will look amazing in anyone's wall. But what about when you take it off the wall? Well. Honestly, sounds really nice. It sounds it's a very nice sounding guitar. 
it sits in that $500 price range, which I think is a very comfortable price range. It's not too cheap that everything is going to be just cheap and, you're, you know, a cheap guitar is a cheap guitar and there's no getting around that. I think there's a few things that you shouldn't do when you're starting and that's cheap out on your guitar because you need something that will draw you to play and stuff like that and cheap guitars are usually hard to play are usually not very nice sounding and usually don't look very nice so I think $500 is a really good price range for this guitar I don't think I think that if you're starting to play guitar you should at least try to spend if you can three to four hundred dollars and if you can 500 then you're golden because you get two guitars like this one which are good for any skill level and on top of that this one looks really nice so I think this is a perfect guitar for any beginners and I love this guitar for beginners because it looks so pretty and I think a big thing about a guitar looking this pretty is that it makes you want to play it if you have it in a stand or in a wall it draws you to it it's nice and bright and there's no way you're gonna miss it so you will see it and I think if you're learning it's a nice thing to have something that makes you want to play it because you have a boring guitar in the wall that you don't really care for you're probably not going to be very um, enthusiastic or very into playing it so a pretty guitar even though it just looks I think matters <laughs> at least to me I think three things are very important when you're buying a guitar one is the price so like your budget and stuff second is the sound obviously the type of music you want to play and stuff like that and third is how it looks I think how it looks is pretty important you're going to be looking at this all the time and you want to like how it looks so you want to play it now what about experienced guitar players should you buy this honestly I don't see why not I have my Taylor and playing this doesn't make me miss my Taylor it actually is kind of a nice refreshing refreshing thing it's a different guitar obviously the quality might not be as high and it shows in some areas but really overall super nice sounding guitar very very pretty looking guitar and I think anyone that buys this guitar will be pretty happy with it I would primarily recommend it for starting players or intermediate players it's a great 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 guitar but even an experienced player that just wants to add a new guitar to their collection and loves the look of this don't be scared by it being an Epiphone or by the price range. It is a very nice sounding guitar and it is as pretty as it looks. It is really, really, really pretty, obviously. Anyways, this was Fantasy Girl 77. Hopefully my video helped you in some way. And yeah, I, I like you can probably tell I like this guitar. I don't like it as much as I like my Taylor, but I really do like it. I think it's a great guitar and I think it's definitely worth its price. It might be a little bit more expensive than other guitars with the same kind of materials. But like I said, I think one of the three big things is looks and this guitar nails looks. And even if you don't want to pay for looks, believe me, looks are, at least in my experience, a little bit more important than we try to make them be. They are the reason we pick up the guitar. Well, they're part of the reason we pick up the guitar and they definitely you want to like what you're playing and this looks really nice and the hummingbirds are always pretty this pickguard is soft which means that it won't be scratched as easily at least i don't think it will be scratched as easily and overall just a very nice guitar i'll stop talking because i could keep going forever and ever and ever so yeah i like it hopefully you like it and shoot me in the comments if you have any questions about this guitar or my tailor and i will probably be remaking my tailor review now that i have a new microphone so yeah, thank you so much for watching. This was Fantasy Girl 77 and have a great day.